If war were to break out in the United States mainland tomorrow, what would you say that you did for the last six months? It's kind of crazy because today God presented me with the question, if war broke out tomorrow, what would you say you did in your free time? In this grace period in which we're finding ourselves and at first, my initial response was not enough. Um, I've seen this coming for a long time and I was given a message to give to the people and I've done everything in my power to ensure that that message got out and received and at every turn that message has been shot down at every turn I've been looked at scoffed at oh, there's been maybe less than one percent of the people that I've spoken to that were receptive to the warning that I brought and open to receive it and in my heart of hearts I've found it hard not to take it personal that people haven't received it and when God asked me this question I told him I, I felt like I haven't done enough but then I looked and I realized that every moment almost of every day has been spent towards trying to figure out different formats trying to figure out different methods trying to figure out different ways to get the message out that God gave me to give to his people and in an answer to the question, I would have to say that I've done everything that I can. Um, I then asked God, how do I not take it personal that your message wasn't received among the people that I was supposed to bring the message to? And God reminded me, he said that it's his message and his glory. And if it's not received by those proclaiming his name, then he's the one to take it personal. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. And it's hard not to take it personal or to be upset. When God gave me the artistic expression along with the ability to express what needs to be said, and people just kind of shirk it they're just they just kind of shrug their shoulders like yeah what like whatever it's not gonna happen here so I, I feel inclined to ask the question if war broke out and peace was completely removed from the land tomorrow what would you say you did with your last six months what would you say that you put forth in preparation what would you say that you've done to glorify God if war broke out and peace was removed from the land tomorrow what would you say that you've done humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God so that at the proper time he may exalt you casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you be sober-minded be watchful your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour resist him firm in your faith knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world and after you have suffered a little while the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen.